Um, today I did just receive, guess what? The Ipsy bag for February. Um, I already know what's inside just because then I wanted to do something different with this uh, beauty subscription. I want to do a try on as well. That's why I opened it without you guys. Um, but I haven't opened the makeup products yet. I just looked at what's inside so I, I know like exactly uh, what I'm going to have to put on and try on and everything. So this is how the bag looks like. And then inside they have this. Uh, the first product that they gave is a Luxie brush and I love brushes. So I just got a brush from e.l.f. which you guys will see in my my e.l.f. haul video. And then so this brush I'll do a close up of but as you can see this one is an eyeshadow brush and then the fluffy side is the blending side which I'm gonna go ahead and try out for you guys today and then next thing on in the bag is this Ibi Beauty I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly Radiant Glow Highlighter I just recently bought a highlighter but it's always nice to try new things um, so this is how it looks like this is just a sample size of course Ipsy has just sample sizes uh, which is nice because the highlighters you know you're not going to use too much of it and the color looks stunning I'm going to go ahead and swatch that for you guys as well and then next in the bag is I have Beauty Basics I don't know how to pronounce that Beauty Basics Beauty Basics yeah um, this one is an eyeshadow and foiled eyeshadow in lavish and oh my gosh guys the shadow is just stunning as you can see I'm gonna do again close-ups and swatch that for you guys as well and we're also gonna go ahead and try it on on my eyes with the brush that they gave me and then next product that we do have is from Naked Cosmetics and this one is a lip scrub and I'm gonna try that for you guys as well in just a little bit and lastly we have the hand moisturizer I don't know it says minus 417 what brand is this? <laughs> is that the brand? I don't know but I'm gonna have all the descriptions on the side and that's what we have for our products from Ipsy for February guys I'm really excited most I think about the brush and the eyeshadow and I do want to try to um, the highlighter as well um, I don't really use lip scrubs I don't know if I've ever tried it so I'm not really too excited about that but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try in this video and I think a hand moisturizer will help me I did uh, read about it and it says you can also use it on your legs and your feet so we're gonna go ahead and try that today after I put the rest of the products on I already do have my foundation and my bronzer and my blush on my face already so let's go ahead and go in with the lavish eyeshadow I need to actually wet my brush so I'll be right back okay I am back so I wet my eyeshadow brush that they gave me just a little bit and now I am going to it into not stick it in but you know what I mean I'm gonna just go ahead and dab it into here and put it all over my eyelids let me just grab my mirror really quick and then I'm gonna go ahead and oh that is pretty guys wow that is beautiful I love this color Oh my gosh. Wow. 
this shadow you can just use on its own. You don't even need to um, use any other eyeshadow with that. Wow, it's just amazing. Wow, that is gorgeous. And then let's see the other side. Wow, look at that. It's really nice and shimmery and the color it's a uh, um, kind of like a I don't know a red tone. <laughs> but that just looks gorgeous. Wow. I'm definitely going to use this eyeshadow a lot. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just pack on a little bit more. All over my eyelids. And then put some right under here as well. And then this shadow will actually work well on its own, but I want to go ahead and test the other side of the fluffy brush as well that um, Ipsy gave me. So I'm going to go in with one of my, this isn't in the Ipsy bag, but I'm gonna go in with my soft brown matte MAC shadow in Corridoy. Just gonna go ahead and use my fluffy brush on the outer corner of my eyes, and we're gonna just do like a two shade kind of thing here. So I'm just going into my outer corner. And then blending it into the top of my crease. And I feel like these two together is really nice. I love the brush. The brush is really soft. And it looks like it's blending really nicely. We look for the eyes. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and try the um, is it Ibi? Ibi Beauty Radiant Glow Highlighter. And this one is it says 24K Magic. I don't know which shade this is in, but I'm gonna use this brush right over here and just. Dab that in. I don't know if it's the right brush I'm using for a highlighter. Um, and then just pull your cape. I don't know if you can really see it on my face. It's like a dark, it's like a brown highlighter. I don't know, maybe it's because I'm dark skin tone. That's why, but when I swatch it for you guys, you guys will be able to see. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can see it with my skin tone. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with my fingers and just dab it onto my face. 
Yeah, this is kind of like the same. Shade as my skin tone, so you can't really see it. But I'll do a swatch for you guys close up. Um. Yeah, if you're darker skin tone, it's kind of like a champagne. Um, brown. You can't really see it. Let me do a close up of that. And then um, next, I'm gonna do a. Oh, this is really beautiful, guys. I love this color. The lavish. Let me swatch the lavish for you. And it's really pigmented as well. And I applied it wet, so that's why it showed up a lot more. But as you can see, wow, look, look at that. And then this is my finger. I just. Just rolled it around once in the eyeshadow palette, but it's really nice. And then next, um, the second to the last thing that we received was uh, Naked Cosmetics, the, the lip scrub. So what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to rub it, oh, <laughs> never used this before, you're supposed to like swirl it all over your lips and then um, it's best if you apply the night before and then before you put on your lipstick as well. That way if you put it the night before, um, in the morning your lips will be soft. And then you're supposed to just put it all over your lips and then uh, wipe it off with the with a tissue or a napkin. And um, yeah, I can kind of taste it but you're not supposed to eat it or so they say. <laughs> So this is how it looks like inside and then you're supposed to just wipe it off so that's why I have my tissue here I don't know if I put enough I didn't even say like how much you're supposed to put it's an exfoliator I thought it was supposed to be applied wet but apparently not you just put that on first yeah, I don't know if my lips feel any different, but I'm gonna. Oh, where'd it go? I'm gonna put on. Oh well. Anyway, next, I mean last, uh, we have the hand moisturizer, which you're supposed to just put a dime size on your, on both of your hands, and then just massage it in. So let's see how it feels. <laughs> Smells kind of like, um, I don't know, kind of like sunscreen. <laughs> so I'm just putting on both sides on the back of my hand. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and massage that in and then see how it feels. So, like I mentioned in one of my other videos, I do have a type of like eczema or something, and then it's supposedly it like you can't like spread it or anything or can't catch it. But according to my um, doctor, he said that it's supposedly uh, you know from the genes. So I guess it kind of runs in my family. No. Ooh. Um. The smell is okay at first, like, at first it smelled like sunscreen, but then after that it kind of has like a um, nice and sweet smell. I'm not sure exactly what kind of smell it has, but it smells pretty good. It's not too strong or anything, and it, my hands feel really soft afterwards. So I'll go ahead and try, give that a try, um, put, on, put it on, and then see how I like it. But overall, I really did like the Ipsy bag. Um, I'm more excited more so on like eyeshadows and um, you know like highlighters and blushes I feel like that's what interests me the most but it's really nice I like getting new brushes too um, and 
it's nice to try out new different products that I don't normally put on so I give this Ipsy bag a thumbs up if you guys like this video and you want to see more go ahead and subscribe and uh, comment down below which product you like the most and if you've ever tried any of these products or if you have any recommendations etc and I'll go ahead and see you next time on your next Ipsy bag bye